What's up, coders, and welcome to episode one of our calendar service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about creating and opening calendars. So the top five methods for today are create calendar, get default calendar, get all calendars, get calendar by ID, and get calendars by name. Let's jump into the code and put these methods to use. When we talk about Google Calendar, yes, we speak of it within the singular, but with, with Google Calendar, you can have multiple calendars. So here is our Google Calendar user interface. And although, again, this is in the singular, you can add multiple calendars all displaying on one screen. You can subscribe to other calendars here from other people, and you could just have them added up here. But let's go back into the code and start adding more calendars. So the first method that we're going to cover is create calendar. So you need to access that through the calendar app parent class. And then the method name is very intuitive. It's just create calendar. You can see we have two options. One is with the required parameter, which is give it a name. But then you also have optional parameters, and that is included within a JavaScript object. So just to be thorough, let's select this second option. And then we'll give it a name. We'll call it um my tech team and then options again has to be a javascript object so we'll give it the curly braces we'll drop down a line two lines and there are a lot of properties that you can give for this object some of them include location time zone uh, is hidden or not let's include two of them right now we'll give it a summary so this is basically the description of the calendar and I'm just gonna give it something simple like used for my technology team. And then we'll also give it a color. So if you if you noticed, when you go back into the user interface, all of these calendars have their own specific color. And you can, so if you, right now none of these really have events, but if, if they did, they would appear all in the same color. All right, so let's just give it a color. This color can be a hexadecimal number, or it could be an enum from the color app. So again, just to remain app scrippy, we will give it the enum. We'll say calendar app, and then we'll access this enum color, and then we'll just pick out a color, and we'll say lime. That sounds good. All right, so if we now save it and we run it, it'll run successfully, and we can go back into our calendar app, and we will refresh the page. And here it is right here, here is my tech team. So this calendar was just created and it is a lime color right here, if you can see that. So if we had any events for it, then we could definitely see them right here, but we don't have any events for it right now, but that's okay, we will make events for it. All right, so this is the create calendar method. Now let's, now let's look at another method. So we also have get default calendar. So again, that is accessed through the calendar app and we'll say get default calendar. So this will be getting existing calendars. And when, when we say the default calendar, that means the calendar associated with, with this account. So it says davidy7 at gmail.com. That's the default calendar that we will be looking at, which is right here. I just made some dummy events right here. Um, but let's log that out just to see that it works. Logger log, and again, we're going to get much deeper into what all of the functionality of all of this, but um, right now we're just going to be getting calendars. And if we look at our logs, we can see that the get calendar method returns a calendar class. So the logs are kind of slow. Okay, there we go. So here we go. So here's calendar. So it did in fact return a calendar and the calendar is you have to just take my word for it right now, but this is the calendar that it that it returned this David the Weiss or David Weiss calendar right here. So that is get default calendar. We also have other methods, say dot get all calendars. So this is if you wanted to get an array of all of the calendars that you have. So we'll just say get all calendars. So you can see it returns an array of all the calendars that you have in your Google Calendar. So this is nice when you want to just cycle through all the calendars and maybe search for an event, say, if you don't remember which calendar you put it in. Um, or this could just, again, be an all-inclusive method that just returns all your calendars. 
So that's actually not logged out right now because I think my logger is acting kind of slow. Let's go through the other methods. And some of the other ones is get calendar by ID. So in a previous episode, I kind of showcased this a little bit, but uh, the ID is actually going to be the, for the most, for the most time, it's going to be just your, your Gmail account. But to verify that, you can go in, say here, settings and sharing. And then if you scroll all the way down, you should see, well not all the way down, but almost all the way down, you should see the calendar ID right here. So for, for David the Weiss, yes, this is indeed my Gmail account. However, you want to be careful because you don't want to rely on that all the time. Um, say for holidays in the US, say this calendar, if you go into settings and you scroll just a little bit this time, you can see the calendar ID is this crazy ID right here. So again, it's not always going to be a, a Gmail account. Uh, this is just uh, to verify uh, that you do have the calendar ID. It is displayed right here and you can just copy that. Actually, let's do that right now. Let's just copy this. And then we will paste it in the ID area. And then there we go. And then that will get us the holidays in the US calendar. Okay, cool. So the next one and the last one is get calendar by name. So name is going to be basically whatever you see right here. So the name for this calendar is David Weiss. The name for this calendar is my tech team. This one, again, holidays in the United States. So let's get my tech team because we haven't gotten that one yet. The one that we just created, remember? Great, so now this should be able to get us the calendars by name. However, when you type in get calendars by name, because name isn't a unique identifier, it will actually return an array of calendars. So again, you can have multiple calendars that say my tech team that has that name as my tech team. It doesn't have to be just only one that uses this name. Um, but so it will go out and get all of the calendars that are under that name and then it'll, it'll, it'll return an array. So let's run this now all at once. And let's see, oh, unexpected token. Let's see line six. And that is because we added too many quotes. And I think we did that for all of these, unfortunately. So let me just delete all of them. Great. So now if we save it and we run it and we view our logs. And we'll have to wait because I think, again, my connection is somewhat slow. But here we go. So we have calendar, 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 calendar. So we, we have four calendars in our in our Google Calendar. And we have one calendar right here, which is the ID. Remember, it went out and got a specific calendar. There's only, it's one ID per calendar. So it knows to get just one calendar. And then the calendars by name, it returned an array of calendars, but we only have one. We only have one calendar named my tech team in our Google Calendar. So it was only returned one in the array. Now, if you're looking at this and you're like, four calendars, what what the heck? Like I thought I thought there were right here we have six calendars. Well, the thing is birthdays, reminders, and tasks, they are not calendars, or at least they're not identified as calendars within App Script. So the fourth calendar is actually a contacts cal calendar. It's not showed right here because it's hidden, but um yeah, the four calendars right here is one for my default, my personal calendar, one for the my tech team calendar, one for holidays in the US, and then one for calendar or contacts. I'm sorry, one for contacts. So those are the four calendars. And then these other two calendars are the, the one that we got by ID and the one that we got by name. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something in that video. If you liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.